Hi folks, Steve here at Voss Wheelers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2018 Winnebago Mini 2500 uh, RL, real living room. Beautiful little unit. It's 5,120 pounds dry weight and, it, and it's uh, 28 foot overall length including the tongue. So a nice, um, very little uh, towable trailer. Not so little, but uh, 28 foot is very towable. Uh, lots of very interesting features on those, so let's not waste any time, get going. Uh, electric tongue jack, standard. Uh, front cap this year, brand new. So they introduced a front cap for the, for the mini line. And it's pretty nice, I really like it. They made it white, so it's a nice offset with the color, the side colors. So there's six colors available from Winnebago. This one is the platinum color. It's a nice little gray. Stone guard at the front, on the bottom. Uh, going towards the side. All of their units are gel coated. Top quality, you're not going to find any better in the industry. I'm a big, big fan. Uh, magnetic uh, older is integrated into the slam latch handle. Very nice. Password storage, LED lights, battery disconnect at the other end. Electric awning with LED lights, rain gutters with spout extensions. One other thing we notice is the windows are a little bit bigger. Big fan, we'll see on the inside. Foldable entry handle, outside speakers, gas electric water heater. A natural field radial tires on aluminum wheels. Very nice. Uh, range hood is vented outside. We have a little extra compartment here. Very nice. I really like this little space. In the back, roof ladder, standard as well to go to the roof. Your spare tire. On this side here, it's getting a little tight, but we have a uh, detachable power cord. We have a cable satellite uh, cable connection. We have our valves for the, um, for the gray and the black tanks, uh, which by the way, folks are enclosed and heated as well. Uh, it's a pretty nice little feature. And an outside shower. So other than that, everything else is on the inside. Let's go take a look. So, rear living room, sort of. We gotta keep in mind, folks, the trailer is 24 and a half foot of box, 28 foot overall light. So space is, uh, well, it's scarce, but they actually managed to put a sofa against the back wall, which I really like. They put a window back there as well, and one on the side, they both open. One of the things that I really like about this particular layout is that it gives you plenty of kitchen counter, and they continue the cabinet on top here, so there are plenty of room for your dishes or even your food. Which, by the way, there is a little pantry on the way in. We'll take a look at that later. But as far as kitchen is concerned, it's kind of hard to beat in the overall length of that particular trailer. So three burner stove, all three are adjustable. There's an igniter as well. There's a stove top, little backsplash, gas oven, microwave on the top, range hood. We mentioned that is vented outside. That's not the case for every trailer on the market. Stainless steel sink. There are sink covers as well. Plenty of counter, there's a nice big window that also opens here as well. Plywood made drawers, ball bearing hardware, the whole drawer extend out, pretty nice. A little bit of storage under here, that's where our sink cover are right now. A little uh, cavity here to put some stuff if you want. We have a domatic double door fridge. Our booth, very nice, and the slide out. Um, one of the features that I really like, again, oh, by the way, all the windows have pleated shades, but all three windows in the slide out opens. So that is a very nice feature. Uh, we have a 32 inch flat screen TV, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB already installed. A little bit of storage above and below, so for those little things and knickknacks or stuff you're going to need up around the fireplace, that would be great. Our EC is, uh, <clears throat> is uh, ducted and all of the vents are actually closable as well. And talking about ducted, we're ducted through the floor for the furnace. Now folks, 30% uh, of the, or 70% of the trailer out there on the markets are laminated floor. This is not what we have here. It's got floor trusses and it's decked with plywood. That is a very small percentage of trailer available on the market that are built like that. This is the best way of manufacturing a trailer. Uh, let's move forward. We talked about that little, oh, something that could be used as a pantry or a place to throw in, you know, the toys or flashlights and stuff like that. Our bathroom, 
porcelain foot flush toilets, nice little vanity, stainless steel sink, medicine cabinet, storage below, and a radio shower. There's a shower liner, there's a skylight. The door stays in the shower, so when you're done, the water doesn't run on the floor. Big fan. There's a vent for the heat, there's a vent for AC, LED lights, and the one above the, uh, the medicine cabinet is actually switched. Very nice. And last thing in this little thing is, of course, the towel hooks on the door. And a power fan as well. Uh, a door to make it to the bedroom, but we'll go around the other way. Oh, uh, just to mention, they actually hidden all of our uh, switches here. So slide out, awning, lights, outside and inside, and of course your monitor panel. So it's not on the wall looking a little awkward. Full queen size bed, 60 by 80, designer bedspread, designer headboard, shirt closet on each side, storage above, LED lights, one, two, two AC vent. There's a heat vent right where I'm standing as well. There's power on either side of the bed and there's a USB connection as well. Now let's look at those windows again. This is kind of unusual to get those size windows in the bedroom, but it helps with the ventilation and both windows are emergency exit as well. You normally only get one. Last thing on this uh, in this room here is we get to see the bed base is actually plywood just like their floor. There's gas strut to make the uh, access under the bed a lot easier and it's separated from outside so you can do uh, blankets and extra pillows here when outside is your barbecue and and your outside carpet and your lawn chairs and stuff like that so the two of them don't get mixed up and the dirt stays in the outside compartment which is kind of nice. So very very nice uh, little room here. They put a, a roof vent as well to add to the uh, incredible uh, uh, airflow that we're going to get. There's two AC vents on the ceiling. I already mentioned that. Folks, uh, 27, 11, 28 foot overall length, 51, 20, uh, the dry weight, extremely towable. A great little floor plan. We did super well with that last year. We had a hard time keeping them in stock. So, you need more information, uh, do the read up on our website. Better, give us a call or come and see us. We'd be happy to demonstrate. Thanks for watching.